Hey folks, Digital Cleaner here, and uh, I just picked up Call of the Wild during the Christmas sale, and so I decided, what the hell, since I'm playing it so much, I might as well stream. Uh, I should warn you, number one, I am sick, it's not COVID, and yeah, I've had COVID a couple of times. <laughs> the first time was in 2019, before anybody knew what the hell it was, let me tell you, that was not fun. That was bad. The second time was Omicron, like about a year and a half later. And that didn't, that was just like a normal cold. <clears throat> and no, I have not had my vaccines. But I'll tell you what, everybody I know who has had the vaccine also got COVID. <laughs> and uh, so, I mean, if it, you know, I shouldn't even be talking about this. Oh, shit. I forgot about that. I'm not supposed to talk about that. But anyways, it's no big deal. I mean, I'm not saying anything one way or the other um yeah so here we are hunter of the wild and uh, the hunter call of the wild and it's an awesome game man so um yeah my voice is a little raspy i cough a little bit here and there but yeah i wanted to show off some things um uh some of the dlcs and there's a lot of dlcs and this game came out in 2017 and it's awesome um i'm just having such a blast with it so I mean, it's got to be one of those kind of games you like, right? But let's get to it, though. One of the main things, um, you know, when I was doing research. Oh, shoot. I forgot. I did not. I turned down my system. Here, yeah. We got to turn this stuff back on. Turn the dialogue down a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Helps to have sound. Anyway, ooh, we might have a kill right off the bat. Yeah. He's coming right towards me. Oh no, he's far away. Sucker. Let's see if we can get a stand up here. Go back this guy. You can see him. There he is. There's another one. Trivial. Let's see if we got anybody else around here. They get away? <laughs> okay, there we go. Gonna do a long shot. I probably got that one. I think I got one shot, one good shot off. Anyways, the other things I wanted to show off today are the weapon pack, definitely this map. Oh. Here. second i got some stuff i gotta do here all right here we go um silver peaks okay so when you start out you start on Leighton valley map uh and it's actually a good starter map but it's difficult this is not an easy game at least it wasn't for me it took me a long time to figure out uh the animals were just always hard to catch up with or even find and uh i did a lot of reading on dlcs and i never picked up this dog because everybody said it was a pain in the ass to manage him but you know what i played a hunter in world of warcraft and uh through the years from uh you know beginning all the way to what it is now 
And it's not that hard to manage. It's really not. I mean, if you look, he's content right now. He's drop. He, he does drop down pretty fast, but he also goes up really Tracks quick. Are my go -to All you gotta do is pet him and, and play with reserve. him a couple times. Species, number, you mood. know. You can learn a um, lot about them before you've ever spotted anything. Let's see. Uh, you know, give us some praise. Sure. Watch how fast it goes up. See, best friend already. We just have to do that every once in a while. All right, I heard something. Um, DLCs, weapon packs. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Sorry, man, I got something to kill. I'm gonna kill it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, how the cold goes away sooner than it does. I've had it for a week now. All right, I heard um, somewhere, oh, oh, I think I see somebody. It's not bad, number three. Have we got anybody else? Okay, we'll go for this guy right here. Oh. Right behind the car. He's down. All right, so this is the weapons I'm using are um, the, uh, God, it's the advanced weapon pack. I forget what to call it. The modern weapon pack. That's it. And it's got the ARs in it. So you got a 308 upper, a 223 upper, and then a 22 upper. Um, so for small, medium, and big game. Uh, now I have the seven millimeter magnum, and I have to say it is more powerful. The round is not supposed to be, but for some reason, it is. So, <clears throat> and it's like a one shot. We have to crack open the barrel. Oh, sh I don't want to leave this up. <coughs> These tree stands. <coughs> God darn. <coughs> These tree stands are. Um, you have to have them in this map because they have bison and if you piss off a herd of bison they are going to come after you and kill you and if you don't have some you know some way to climb up and get out of there by the way you might hear my dogs running around playing in the background they're going nuts i got a couple of seven month old uh bullies <laughs> that i rescued hey get out of here they're hitting the back of my chair also, if you down it, you know where it is, you have a dog, whatever you do, don't just go take your trophy. Make the dog um, track it still. Oh, man, these dogs are going nuts. We're going to put them away. Make them track it because uh, you want to level them up, right? Now, it is never this easy to hunt. Um, he's gonna bark at me until I go over there, but the, it doesn't spook the animals, by the way. I saw one over here. Let's try night vision. This is the um, <coughs> night vision from the high tech pack. And if you're gonna hunt after sundown, you're gonna need this. Uh, he got away. I did see him for a second. I was like, oh. <gasps> Bison. Nice. Let's see. That's a one. One. Three. So I'm going to go for the three first. And that's a long shot, but I'm going to go for it anyway. For bison. Ugh. Forgot to reload earlier. My bad. And uh, I forgot to also put my night vision on. I missed out on some kills there because of that mistake. A little bit. Oh, okay.
I nailed quite a few of them there, but they take a lot of rounds to take down. Um, especially this uh, 308 round isn't as effective as it should be. And I think they're just kind of trying to even it out. But uh, anyway, get over here and he's telling me my kill is. <clears throat> One of the reasons I really like having the dog is oh, right through the heart. What a shot. How, how far was that? 150 yards. Oh, not bad. Oh, not bad. Oh, Look at that. Nice kill. She oh, dropped oh, immediately oh, off that. Oh. Anyway. Um, God, I'm so distra easy to distract my brain. I'm all brain loopy today. Uh, cough medicine. And these night vision are kind of cool because you can walk around like you got uh, nods on. <laughs> you know, kind of like uh, Sam Fisher here. All right. Let's go ahead and it should track and show me where I saw him first. So I can mark it, right? Now, this is dangerous, though, because these guys do kill you. You'll get a tree. And sometimes you try to get that tree stand out. And it'll, it won't set. It'll say, nope, can't set it there. Nope, can't set it there. And then, you know, I haven't been killed by him yet, but I've had some close calls. And yes, I do have the ATV, but that scares everything for a mile, right? <clears throat> so it's really better off, you know. The ATV definitely has its place, and I recommend that DLC. When you first get to a map, just jump on the back of that thing and go look for the need zones. Because need zones are really, unless you're on this map, if you have a big open area like this and you have, you know, let's see if we have anybody over here. And you have height and, you, you know, you, can, you have any advantage to see long distance like that. They can't run, man. I mean, if you got a nice 308 and you have a steady hand, they're done. Shit, where's my, oh, there's my marker. Uh, okay, now this is important. See these things on the ground? These little grassy nesty looking icons that's a need zone right there so watch what happens when i click on that need zone eating right and make sure you click on all of them because a lot of times other creatures will use the same need zone ah there we go pronghorns use this too you know or you know maybe turkeys use this too these <coughs> these are the most important things in the game and sometimes you stumble on them but the way to really find them is to follow tracks. See these tracks on the ground? Uh, the dog won't just follow any track for you. He will only follow tracks that you have shot somebody. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to randomly pick any of these tracks. And I'm going to tell him... Whoops. Get out of there. To track. Now what he's going to do is he's going to look around and try to find blood. If he finds blood, he's going to follow the track with blood on it. Did I leave my thing up? Okay, no, I'm good. Should have lost my dog. There he is. This is going to be dangerous doing this at night. Shit. I lost my dog. Where is he? He usually glows like a little bit. So I can see him. Did he lose tracking blood, it says. Oh. He's way up there somewhere. I can't see him. Look on the map. Oh. There's right here. Oh, okay. Oh. There he is. <coughs> My eyes are not what they used to be, man. So video games are getting harder and harder to like this. Like, man, trying to pick deer and bison out of trees, man. Well, especially at night, even with night vision. 
You need the, you know, variation in colors. You really do. But, you know, in this situation, I had an opportunity. I was just going to sleep overnight. But in this situation, I had the opportunity that we're there, and I need money. That's, like, the big thing is get your money in this game. Oh, yeah, so there's a blood stain right there. Very low. So this guy is going to go forever. And, unfortunately, the dog does not prioritize the bigger blood spot. You know, like, when you shoot stuff, it's going to, um, you know, if you don't hit vital organs, they're not going to bleed a whole lot. Especially a big animal like this. And you could end up tracking them forever. <coughs> you know, he may not even go down. He may just, you know... Let's take a look and see. See, none of those guys have died or I'd have a black cloud like that here. So, unfortunately, they're all alive. And they're going to be pissed. Look at all those tracks up there. See all that through the ground? Man. There's a lot of animal traffic around here. And it's going to be a big group of bison. So, yeah. I suppose if you got into trouble and you didn't have the stand here, uh, you could just fast travel out to, you know, hopefully before they catch up with you, just fast travel out. You know, like back to that cabin I was at. You have to unlock those by finding those, too. You have to unlock everything. <clears throat> but I tell you, starting out in this game is not easy with the, the, the low-caliber weapon. Oh, man, you shoot anything up to a, you know, a deer and above with those low-calibers, that 243 Huntsman rifle, whatever it is, that's terrible. Terrible rifle. Uh, boy, I, and then, you know, I got the weapon pack, too. Which is a bunch of bolt action rifles. And uh, I think they're called Solicon. They look like SKS, but they shoot a 762 by 51 round instead of a 762 by, I think I can't remember it right now, a brain. 39, 762 by 39, like an AK, you know, around. But, um, so the 51 obviously is a lot bigger. It's distance shots aren't as good as the 308, but I'll tell you, if you get that weapon pack, once you, as soon as you get on that Sullivan, if you have only the weapon pack too, you know, if you're going to be a bolt action guy, uh, those are great. I mean, they were taking bears down. They were taking deer one shot and deer if you get a vital hit. And if you can start out with that weapon pack too, or this weapon pack, but you have to earn this turkey you have to earn this uh you know your right the ability to use these rifles even if they were free so you gotta level up all right so it won't cost you in money but it'll cost you in leveling up i'll actually be able to get a shot on that who's up there nah Yeah, man, I, I, you know, since I got this, well, I, I let it sit for a couple of weeks because I was playing God of War. Uh-oh. That sound is not good. Okay, I need to get the stand up right away. See how it won't go up? I could die because of this. There we go. Ooh. Ooh. Come get it, baby. Vision scope finally went down. 
see what else we got around here. Okay, if I wasn't in the stand, he would come kill me. Come on, switch my pistol. He's already telling me, hey, there's a dead body over here. The dog is cool. And you'll see, man, when you want to track what'll happen if you get a low bleed, they'll run all over the place. And uh, here, let me show you. See see how these tracks, well, what the tracks would do is they'll like go dot to dot to dot to dot, and then they'll go and turn around and back in on themselves. And you get confused, you can't find them. And it'll go over a cliff and they'll be missing. With the dog, I find them every single time. So, I mean, he is worth his weight in having to deal with his RPG bullshit. So, have no problem with it. That must have been the, the bull we were tracking. Um, that's why he found it, because I didn't send him out to do that. It came after us. Uh, if you look, it's kind of interesting that it doesn't turn black where we killed him. It turns black where we shot him. So, we could really hunt here still you know? anyway um and it seems like i should leave this uh in case they you know come back <coughs> make sure i'm fully reloaded on all my guns here okay I wish I had to listen to all those people complaining about uh, the dog. I'll tell you what, he's been great. Look at all those hits, man. Flesh in the arm. He's still walking after that? Come on. With a 308? Oh, oh, hey. oh, oh. And then finally, in the lung a little bit. So, they always come out bronze because, I don't know, they don't like the rounds I'm using. Also nice is that the blood trail goes away. Now, this I got a vital organ hit on this one. I'm going to tell them to track that. Ooh. And always make them track, even if you know exactly where the body is, because that'll level him up. See, see tracker level 12? That's because I make him track every single body, and he gets XP for that. Look at all the hits I had to do. I Took out his jaw. Another jaw shot because I was up on the thing. Lung. I mean, I shot his lungs out and he's still running around trying to kill me. Crazy. All right, so here's another one. So we're going to have him track that. So I know that's not from the other guy because, like I said, the blood trail disappears. See, I wouldn't have found that guy in the dark without the dog. So, oh, and look, he just leveled up. Level 13. I don't know what that means. But look at all these hardcore shots I gave this guy. Who's going to run around without their hips? All right, he would have been pulling his back legs. I wish it was a little more realistic. A spine shot? He's going to be, he's going to be completely, you know, even that, he should not be able to walk after that. So they make him a total monster. Okay. Let's see if we can find some more blood around here. We might have hit one more, I think. Alright, we'll see. We'll see. We'll just go with this right here. Oh, there's another need zone over here. Always get these. Do not wait. They're so important. 
He can plan out your whole hunting trip. Turkey. You get good money for turkey. And they're fun. They jump up in the air and they fly. And they're all slow. It's like a flying balloon. <laughs> it's freaking hilarious. It, you, when you uh, shoot them, they, uh, they make this funny sound. Like, ah! <laughs> it's almost comical. We actually had a pet turkey. Um... And uh, we originally got it because we were going to butterball it, but it was the smartest animal and it loved to sit in your lap. It, became, it was like a dog. It knew its name. It, it just, it would peep at you whenever you came outside and come running. And turkeys are smart animals, let me tell you. And uh, I'll never go turkey hunting again because of it. You know, they almost, uh, instead of the eagle for the United States, they almost had the bird a uh, turkey. Because they're so smart. Of course, who wants to be the USA turkeys, right? Okay, let's see if he can find anything. See, it says, on the bottom right, it says searching for blood. And he can't find anything, so. And then he goes, oh, so be sure and reassure him. So, you did a good job. You still, we should probably, um, pet him. Yeah, because he's, he's going down in uh, in loyalty there. You got you to gotta manage him a little bit. It's not too bad. Come on. Good deal. It's worth it. It's already up to loving. It, it popped up like four hearts right there. There, best friend already, you know? A couple seconds, big deal. All right. Let's find some more blood trails. Blood trails of drag mark. I'll tell you what. Oh, yeah. See, I got to click on all these. Because if you don't, it could be some other animal over here using this. See, this is all turkey land. All right, let's see if we can uh, show you a little trick. See how the grass is going down? Oops. See how it goes down? Before you start calling an animal, make a little nest. And this grass will stay down for quite some time. And I'll show you why we're doing this <coughs> in a second. Some plants won't go down, but most of the grass will. This is so when that turkey comes, I can see him. Right? You don't want him to just come up to the edge. So I'm going to do a little turkey call here. This is it right here, actually. have very many skill points in lures yet so an ambusher this is the guy that sits in the blind and waits and calls stuff in uses scents you ever see this video where the deer's all over the hunter hey buddy you know they put the love potion on themselves and then the deer comes well um that's what this is right here you're an amb you're an ambusher that means you sit and wait but uh, i want these calls even as a stalker i can man, imagine that guy'd be here already but um first put points in here because tracking was obviously totally worth it um revealing stuff about my prey is important um you know this is a advanced uh deal here i don't really care about being quiet in the bushes i've learned how to do it without any extra help so i can hear a little footsteps now Another thing that's going to probably hurt me, if you look at my compass, the bottom right, you'll see a green cone. That's which way the wind is blowing. That means my scent is blowing right at him. So he probably smelled me. I didn't for forgot to put my blocker on. 
And he never answered me because he smelled me. So he's out of here. So I blew that. Oh, wait. Looks like I think I did these. Better safe than sorry. Make sure you touch all those zones. And they'll show up now on the map. If you look, 14 to 1700. Um, they'll be here somewhere in that time frame and somewhere around here. So he's over here. So we'll try calling him again. Oh. Wrong call. And I forgot, you want to be on the ground. It's my elk call. some grass down here. Hearing away, they stifle it. Use your light bulb, or you use your uh, binoculars. Let's see. Well, I'm not going to spend too much time on this. Let's get the dog over here. And that, by the way, that's another thing. When I'm hunting like this, when I'm going to stop, I have him sit or heal. Because he'll run around and make noise in the bushes and I can't tell the difference between him or a bison that's coming to fucking knock me on my ass. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Let's give him a quick praise now that he's back. I'm not going to mess around. Whoops. Okay, you got to make him sit so you can actually get up on him. And then we're going to set up a tent and camp out until tomorrow. Serious, best friend still. Let's get our tent set up. All right, now the cool thing about the tent is it first bad thing, it weighs a lot and you can only carry so much poundage. But I've got everything I need um, you know I'm not worried about I've you know I got the backpacks so here let me show you you can um, I'm not supposed to be in it weird um, oh never mind but here's your uh, backpack I wouldn't do any more in a medium you can carry everything you need in a medium backpack and I bought the backpack uh, DLC by the way totally worth it now I can carry everything I need with me it does up the sound, though, as you can see there. Um, it increases your noise by five and visibility by three. I haven't really seen a problem with it. Doing all right with that. Um, but you could go to the store. So if I was out of ammo, I could buy ammo here. And otherwise, I got to travel all the way back. Now, imagine if I was in the middle of a hunt and I had like a whole herd of bison, which has happened to me. And... Um, if I travel out and come back, they're going to be gone. So I can just pop a tent down, grab some ammo, get back up on the stand, keep hunting. So the tent is just like this really great mobile store. Uh, but uh, back to rifles a little bit. Like, uh, oh, it's going to be up here. I'm on uh, ammo. I want to show you something really important because I've made the mistake. When you purchase things in this game, you cannot refund them. And money is hard to come by, especially in the beginning. Um, uh, and more on that is, uh, stay when you're doing points or you're buying things, don't go crazy. Don't try and camouflage your gun. Don't buy a bunch of frivolous stuff. Don't buy an, oh, I'm going to do bow and arrow and a rifle. Stick with one thing 
or you're going to run out of money and you're not going to have enough power, right? And you're not going to level things fast enough to get the next uh, higher up, uh, you know, uh, caliber to be able to take things down. You want to take things down. So you really have to make the choice in the beginning. And then later on, you could drop back and then rego those other routes. But for points, and you know, to decide whether you're going to be an ambusher or a stalker and, and stick down that path because it costs you XP and stick with the weapon system you're going to use. I went with a rifle and a handgun, you know. I got this 357 from the Weapon Pack 2. That's why Weapon Pack 2 and the, um, God, I keep forgetting, the Modern Weapon Pack. Both together gave me everything I needed. I still had to earn this. Um, but, I, no, actually, I think I've had this from the beginning. And it takes down a bear. Three good shots, you know, well-placed shots, vital organs, take a black bear down before he could kill you. Or um, not so much deer, by the way, which was interesting. You hit him, unless you hit him in the heart and you're trapped in a little area, the game makes him kill you. So if they're up close for some reason, I put a, a whole you know, five rounds into this deer or six rounds into this deer. I was trapped in a little area with, and it kept coming back and hitting me, coming back and hitting me. And it almost killed me. I had to run out of there, um, in order to, you know, stop getting hit. And the six shots did not take it down. So, um, you know, you really want to have a 44 Magnum and the interesting thing. Now I earned it, but I don't have enough cash yet for the rounds. And, you know, I'm not ready for that transition yet. And with my pack, I got the uh, 454. In comparison, um, you know, it's very similar. In real life, these would be, basically be almost the same exact gun, you know, and the same exact rounds. Uh, but in this game, they're not. You can see um, my accuracy is 10 on the 454. But with the Magnum, I'm at 33, which... You definitely want, you know, that. And then the rounds, when we look at the ammunition, and here's the secret I was going to show you. Before you purchase anything for your guns, go highlight the gun while you're in the store and then hit compatible items so you don't accidentally buy the wrong thing. I bought the wrong scope, and I was broke forever because of it, and I can only use it on shotguns. I'm not using shotguns right now because I'm not shooting birds, and I'm really, to be honest... I'm not a shotgun person, you know, I mean, I, you know, if I go duck hunting or something like that, sure, but I like big game and I like to use rounds and it's just my thing, but notice I can put, you know, you know, I've earned the right to use this reflex site. This reflex site is really dynamite. Do not waste your hand, your money on true vision, uh, tritium sites. I had a pair of these and they glow. Right? Well, they don't glow in this game, so they're worthless. I don't know why if it's bugged or what, but it, you know, I was all excited to get that on my handgun. And, what? It's still black. Why isn't it glowing? What the heck? So, yeah. But when I got this, this is awesome. A little aim point. Awesome. Um, so, yeah. Remember to hit comp compatible items before you buy. Now, you notice I can't get this really good ammo, and every weapon has the base ammo that comes with it you can get it right away once you get the, the weapon or there's the upgrade now look at the penetration 100 versus 25 that's a huge jump and this would help me take down buffalo wouldn't it or a bison right i mean yeah because i'm not getting in there so and look at i have to get man i mean i gotta get such a high i gotta really start hunting with handguns a lot more so I can get that good ammo but anyways I have it on the 357 but it's not even I mean, this is still better than the higher level 357 ammo so you know I mean you see what it's rated for it's rated for everything but it doesn't quite do the job so it's really kind of a leveling game to, to take things down quickly um, and learn how to shoot between the you know, behind the shoulder if they're at the side and kind of at an angle so it goes into the heart or low and between the legs if they're facing you or kind of how to do it from behind and wait for them to turn a certain way if you can so you can get into those vital organs, the lungs and the heart or the liver. So and it kind of really helps you 
learn to play some shots because that was one of the biggest problems I had in the beginning was I wasn't shooting them in the right spot. In real life, uh, you know, if I shoot a deer uh, in those places, it's going to hit a major artery somewhere around the heart. They're going to bleed out very quickly. The shock of it is going to, you know, really slow them down, but not in this game so much. So from my experience, there's some little differences in, in what I experienced in the field, but not by much. This is a pretty realistic game. I mean, it's pretty cool, but, you know, it's doing the job. Anyway, so I wanted to tell you about that. Definitely get this weapon pack. I read somewhere that it aims to the right. I took it to the shooting range. And it's I, I'm, I'm zeroed, so I'm hitting zero on all of them. So maybe they fixed it, but I looked in the bug. Um release or the you know the update release and i did not see that as fixed so i don't know why people were complaining about that but it's zeroed it's not shooting to the right for me um but i'll tell you if you don't get that weapon pack oh, where's that really good gun i was using the seven millimeter right here boy i'll tell you it's not it there it is the empress this thing is just takes everything right down. Problem is, if you don't get a vital shot, you got to crack it in half, pull the old shell out, put the next round in, crack it closed, and then aim again. By that time, they're in the trees. So I'd rather be able to pop off with a magazine, right? Five rounds. You saw how great that was. And if later on I get points in it, you know, um, See how many rounds I have. You know, I'll be able to reload faster. So that's something I, I don't see as a detriment. I like to keep 100 rounds on because sometimes you get into those big herds and they're going for a mile and you can still shoot at them. And I like to try and take something out long range if I can. That's fun to me. So let's see how we're doing on ammo for the pistol. I don't want to get too much of this because... I'm going to go to the 44 Magnum pretty soon. <coughs> that uh, accuracy is just, I think it's going to be better. So anyway, so there you go. So now I'm ready to go to bed. Hit this deal here. Of course, my dog's going to be all sad in the morning. And it costs me money. Everything costs you money, even to rest, which is kind of BS. All right. So now it's morning. Always when you come out of your tent, sit and listen and wait. Because a lot of times in the game, it's, you know, and look if you look to the bottom right, my scent blocker's still up. So stuff may be around now. May have populated this area. I don't see anything. I don't hear anything, so. All right, but anyways, there's, that's pretty much a lot of information to give um, that should help you if you're playing this game. And that's everything you need to know. Really. If I'd have known everything I just told you, I'd be so much better. I, I gotta go get this. I accidentally left one of my tree stands out. And you only have two of them. So where's the nearest cabin, which is what I'm looking for? This guy right here. The fast travel there, we're gonna go get my tripod. Oh, I, there, here's a bug, a really interesting, weird, strange bug. Okay, I just heard something. All right, let's drop to the ground. See if we can pet him while we're on the ground. Because we definitely are going to need to... About him in a second. I know I did hear something and I don't want to spook everything. So by this morning, things probably spawn. And it plays the music whenever you're near the cabin for some reason. It always reminds me of this, some commercial for uh, Hickory Farms. The best you can get. So some guy's gonna start doing a commercial here in a second. Alright, let's 
take a look around here. Ah, we got somebody over here. No, nope, those are rocks. And the fog in the morning sucks. I know I heard something. I heard a little grunt. Bison, probably. Let's check over here. They shape the bushes round like that. You know, oh, is that a bison? Oh, no. Like, <laughs> sucker. <laughs> Psych. I heard something. I guess he split her. I'm just not seeing him. Oh. Uh, I missed it, whatever it was. Something was making it. Something's out here. Shush. No, no bark. Ah, here we go. Nice. Moose. Four. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. Oh, ho, 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 ho. definitely want that first. Oh, he's spooked. Get down, dog. Get down. Oh, shit. Damn it. Got to move this thing out. Not get good shots on those guys. That was a bad shot. I'm trying to go a little bit high because they're so. Ugh, that would have been a good shot. It's always the last one. Seven fifty yards. Uh, gonna have to stop stream for a second here. 